What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Lona Marie. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Come on in. <laughs> I am doing a DIY today for you. I am doing a beautiful fall centerpiece. Now you can use this for Thanksgiving, you can use it for weddings, I mean you can use it when you walk in for your entryway. You can make it big and you can make it small, whatever scale you'd like to make it. But this is a beautiful centerpiece. I found some ideas on Pinterest and then I started searching on Etsy because I was being lazy because you know they have some beautiful things on there. But the price tag was not what I was looking for. So I'm like, you know what, I can make that. I love DIYs, let's get this going. So. Today for you, I'm gonna help you make this beautiful centerpiece that I think is easy, fun, and affordable. Well, more affordable than buying it off of Etsy. So if you guys wanna see how I do this, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that bell because I love doing DIYs. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, organization videos, and I would love to have you. If you feel like depositing some positive energies into the universe, definitely give me a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate it. It really helps out my channel. I'll be linking everything for you in the down bar below, including my new website that has everything you need all in one place, including all of my favorites. So if you guys wanna see how I put together this beautiful fall centerpiece and how you can put together one in your own home, then just keep watching. Like a fever, All right, you guys, are you ready? We are getting ready to throw down between Dollar Tree and Michaels, and we're starting off with the Dollar Tree. So I spray painted these foam, that's the best way to, to describe them, is foam pumpkins, and I painted them gold. And then I started cutting all of my flowers, and now we're gonna start just basically pushing the stems directly into the pumpkin. It's super easy, we don't have to cut anything. That is definitely one of the pros here going for these dollar store pumpkins is the fact that you don't have to cut or do anything to them, you just stick these little stems in there. Also the stems from the dollar store are a lot easier to cut. They're thinner and I feel like they're easier to maneuver. One of the cons that I did notice is the fact that when I was starting to stick flowers in, it was kind of getting caught. They were all getting tangled in there somehow. So I'm not sure why it was easier for the Michaels ones, but these ones were definitely harder to get inside there. But I did five different flower bundles and that's including these little, um, I don't know what you wanna call them, little fruit berries or whatever. And um, I started sticking them in the back. I didn't want them to look bare back there just in case somebody got a peek. So now I'm just basically putting flowers and berries in the dead space. I feel like when you have dead space, it doesn't look as good. And when you fill it up, it looks more expensive. You're just adding more flowers and it just make, gives it a more grandiose feel. And I absolutely love the way that it's looking. And to make it look even bigger and better and more expensive, I decided to put the two pumpkins together and give it some added height. And I really, really like the way this turned out, you guys. I think it makes it look expensive and I only paid $7 for everything. Yep, I used five bundles of flowers and berries and two pumpkins, so that comes out to seven bucks. Okay, and now we're getting into Michaels. So we have this pumpkin, I have a serrated knife because we have to cut the top off, and I have a couple of my wire cutters. I definitely need to invest in some because this was a struggle, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> so anyways, I got all of these beautiful bundles from Michaels. Now, these bundles were half off. They were mostly 50% off. These were $4, and actually this was cheaper. It was like four something. The ones at the dollar store are a little more expensive if you buy them individually. So I start cutting the top off of this. Definitely be careful. My husband kept saying, watch out, be careful. And I'm like, I got this, I got this. So take your time and get this the top of this bad boy cut off. You definitely wanna go down far enough to where you have a large enough opening to start wedging in everything. So I'm taking these foam, I don't know what they're called, but it's for floral arrangement. So I'm going to size this up and stick this in the center here. And then I'm going to, you can also hot glue this down. It would have probably been easier, but for me, I just didn't feel like pulling it out. And I feel like whatever I can do to make things more simple is gonna encourage me and inspire me to do it for next time. So I'm taking one of these bundles. I think I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do this one right here. 
Then I'm just gonna be cutting all of the stems. I like to do it this way. I like to cut them all first and then start placing them. If I need to give them a second trim, I can. I also like to bend and move them around and face them in different directions. I like to think of anything that I'm doing, whether it's hair or flower arrangements or anything like clay or putty. I just like to mold and manipulate things to make them look beautiful. First, I'm gonna be putting these cascading ones in first. I like setting the foundation. And then I like to put the bundle in my hand just so I can see what flowers look good next to each other and I can get a good idea of where I want things placed inside of the actual arrangement. And then I'm just gonna be basically putting everything inside of the pumpkin one by one individually and placing all of the flowers. I like to do the big ones first and then start working in the small ones. That really helps me with space because like I said, it looks more expensive if you don't have a lot of dead space. I'm just plugging all my little tiny flowers and berries and different things inside. I have some more leaves and different things just to add more color, dimension, shape. I think that's also what brings everything together is just having a variety of sizes and shapes of things. But this is coming together so well. I absolutely love this. And don't forget to cover up that raw edge at the bottom. I think that's really important. I love how this one turned out. It's super cute. I love the cascading flowers on the side, but I absolutely love it. So we're also gonna get into making another one, but this time we're gonna leave the bundle all put together and we're gonna stick it right in here. And I love what this did, it gave it more height. So this is just another option and a way that you guys can make your centerpiece. This was definitely easier because I pretty much just plopped it right in and added another bundle in here to start placing all of my flowers. So I really like the fullness of it, but the most important thing to me is that it added so much height to it. I love having I feel like it's more, it feels more expensive, it feels bigger and larger than life when it adds some hype to it. So I really, really like the way this turned out. There's so many different elements to this one, the berries and the pine cones. And then I just start filling in the sides and the back because I don't, just in case somebody gets a glimpse of it, I don't want them to see those raw edges or the back. It doesn't have to be as pretty, but I'm putting just some different leaves and stuff back here just to make it look nice. This pumpkin ended up costing me $5 for the pumpkin, $10 for one of the bundles, $5 for the other bundle, and $2.50 for half of a bundle of the berries. This turned out so cute. I love this one. I don't know why, but I think this one's my favorite. Even though I love pink, this one I think is number one for me. All right, you guys, I just wanted to show you, I did make a third one for Michaels. I had enough. I bought this little tiny pumpkin and I'm kind of doing it the same way I just did the last one, putting them into bundles. And what I liked about these other ones is it was like three flowers on one stem. It made it so much easier. So definitely if you can find ones like that, it makes the project go by a little bit faster. And I think it's easier and makes it look fuller in less amount of time but this one turned out so cute. I absolutely love this one as well. This pumpkin ended up costing me $5 each for two of the bundles and $3 for the pumpkin, which brings us to $13. So I think it was super adorable and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. Which one do you guys like the best? Would you rather go for the more affordable Dollar Tree or would you guys spring for and go for the Michaels version? All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my fall DIY. I had so much fun doing this. I love DIYs it's official we're doing more DIYs let me know if you guys like them as much as I do in the comments below and any other suggestions on video topics I'd love to hear from you guys don't forget to subscribe hit that bell if you haven't done so already and give your girl a thumbs up if you've made it all the way to this point and you watch my whole video all the way through thank you so much it really shows a lot of support to my channel and I'm gonna keep pushing these videos out just for you so until next time I'm always your girl Lorna Marie Bye.